Hello kids, let's take another installment of arm wrestling math and look at the statistical predictions between Davy Chafee, Lugs That Wavy Gravy, and Todd Hutchings. Uh, these two have competed uh, quite a bit before, not in East First West or King of the Table, but in Dublin, Ohio, that's where in the thumbnail where Todd Hutchings is Got his arm in a sling. Dave Chafee detached his bicep in the, I believe it was the final round. It was in the it was in the finals. I don't know if it was the last round. I think we were I'm not exactly sure of the instances, but bicep got detached in their first match. So that ended it. And then Hutchings was out for six months. The WAL, when they were running tournaments, not super matches, would run a and overall, at the end, they take the winners of each weight class and throw them into like a little single elimination bracket. I pulled Dave at two of those and lost both of them miserably. I've been to his house uh, at least twice. I got two videos on my channel of us practicing. I think I lost every single one of those. I, I, I don't know. The overall record is Dave Chafee's somewhere around 1,000, Hutchings 0 or slightly non-zero. Big advantage on history to Chafee. Technique. He's proficient at the top roll, the hook, top roll, hook, press. He's uh, all of those. He's got a single king's move match. Hutchings, uh, yeah. He's got the Todd roll, and he's got the sideways. I think these moves are just made up. I'm not, I don't even think they're real moves, so we'll give the technique advantage to Chafee. Power, hands down. Um, Chafee's got way more power. He's 11-9 and nine on flash pins. Hutchings is not even close to that. Endurance. I'm giving it to Hutchings. Don't really have a good way of an empirical way of doing this, so this is a very subjective measure right here. Ready go. Dave's not very fast. He wins 11 of his ready goes, lost 34 of them, tied on 51. Hutchings is just better than that. I don't know what it, I don't know what the actual numbers are yet, but it's better than that. Strategy. <clears throat> Dave's only lost four matches on fouls. So, and he lost one match on a forfeit. Strategy advantage goes to him. Hutchings fouls a lot. I think I, th I think Hutchings fouls at weigh-ins. I think he fouls during the when they start playing the music for the walk-on. I think he collects a foul there. I think he's collected fouls on the plane on the way home before. Guy gets fouls all the time. So, we really don't need a computer to tabulate the fact that there's four flags against two, but yeah, pretty much what we expected. <laughs> Hudgens uh, does not have a joke. It's not between a slim chance and a fat chance. It's a slim chance or maybe slightly, maybe slightly, maybe it's an anorexic chance. It's to the left of slim chance. So that's the end of the technical presentation. As we always say, call your mom. If you can't call your mom, at least tell someone you love them. This concludes the actual video. If you want to hang out, we will cover the director's cut material. So this is kind of a Dave Jaffe story. It's, it's just kind of a... Um, <laughs> just, it's just an interesting peek into arm wrestling overall. So, this story starts with Dave JV and Wayne Withers were scheduled to pull a super match at Gus's Outback in Beaver, Ohio. That's this is the fine establishment right here. Gus's Outback. It's a it's a carry out and a drive through, and they have female strippers coming August 11th. So, they uh. <laughs> This, this bar is so short inside, Wayne has to duck down when he moves from one room to another. And when it gets hot, they turn on this fan, which will clear every package of cigarette, napkin, plastic fork off every table inside that bar. So I went to the tournament because <clears throat> I believe that, you know, the, the belief was both Wayne and Dave Chafee were going to pull in the tournament after all. I think it had a small cash prize. And that would have been my opportunity to grip up with two of these world-class super heavyweights without a big investment on my time. So me and Logan the Barbarian, 
loaded up the truck, and we headed to Beaver, Ohio, and we went to Gus's Outback. They had the super match. Um, I can't remember the score. I think Dave won it pretty handily. There's there's videos out there. I think Wes Bjornsson's posted them. And <laughs> Dave didn't stay to pull the tournament because when Mrs. Chafee, <laughs> when Mrs. Chafee saw maybe this fan, maybe the clientele, look at this guy. This guy was one of the one of the clientels. <laughs> so. <laughs> was not going to stay. I don't think she sat down or touched anything. She was, I think she was afraid of sticking to a chair or something. So as soon as the tournament was over, Dave was gone. He's like the, like when the roadrunner leaves and there's just that little uh, silhouette of him before the air rushes in. <sighs> Dave was gone. But um, I stayed and got to meet Wayne Weathers, got to pull with him. We met up in the finals. But before the finals, a fight breaks out in the bar. This girl and at least one, maybe two other girls get into this big fight. Um, the bar itself is like three or four connected rooms. And these girls are in like the lower half. And <laughs> so when they serve beer at Gus's, they serve you in these big metal buckets that have ice and bottles in them. Well, the wait staff keeps bringing you new buckets, but they never collect the old ones. And when these girls started fighting, they started bashing into tables and stuff. And each table had like one or two buckets of half-melted ice, empty beer bottles. <laughs> it turned into such a mess. The aftermath of this fight is is on those videos. <laughs> Gus's Outback Tournament. <laughs> so... They ended up grabbing these girls and just hauling them out to the parking lot and letting them go. <laughs> Hour or two later, when the uh, when the tournament was over and we're all after pulling, these girls just come back. And <laughs> you know, they don't call the cops. Uh, really, nobody jumped in. The fight itself was kind of self-contained. It was all one of the more uh, one of the more better behaved fights I've ever seen. But <clears throat> Mrs. Chafee missed it. She had left hours before that happened. <laughs> the other thing, be besides girl fights and the Wayne Withers super match, Gus's Outback is still currently having wet t-shirt contests. I thought these died out in America, like uh, in the 70s, but definitely the, the, the historical society of beaver ohio keeps this little slice of america tradition alive <laughs> we're still having wet t-shirt contests that gus is out back <laughs> so <sighs> thanks kids <laughs>